I do help clients all the time that want to buy a, a condo, small, you know, small house near one of our wonderful universities so that their child can have a place instead of renting, have a, you know, kind of safe, secure place and also an investment in the future. And there's multiple ways you can set that kind of loan transaction up. I love UNC. I'm a huge Tar Heel fan. My daughter graduated from NC State. Very proud. Love the pack as well. And then my husband loves Duke, so uh, we, we got to have it all here. So we love them all. Can't forget Meredith. Can't forget Elon. So you know, and if you head down to the beach, you can't you can't forget um, ECU. So we, we've got a lot of great colleges in our area. There's a way to have your child on a mortgage. In KK, they're they're 18 years old. They're not really a child, but they're going to college and being what's called a non-occupying co-borrower as a parent, so you don't have to buy the property as an investment property and you can help them build credit and be able to also have mortgage, so it's really good for them long-term. So there are products out there for someone who's 18 if their parents want to assist them um, to buy a home, and they can actually buy a home if you're 18 legally by yourself as long as you have down payment and a way to you know repay the loan. That's the key. So if you're 18 coming out of high school, you got to have a job. Now, if you have an offer letter, and you qualify for debt income ratio purposes, absolutely, you can purchase a home at 18 years of age. And real estate makes money. So no matter when you're investing in it, you know you've got a long-term investment, definitely.